hello guys i am going to be doing another study with me vlog today and i'm just going to be talking you through my process of writing my last two in-course assessments so if you watched my last uh, couple of vlogs ago i think back in september no january then you would have seen that i wrote um an in-course assessment which was a 3000 word essay that was for the module that i did last semester so this semester i'm doing two modules called biomedical research techniques for drug development and clinical neuroscience now these two modules require me to not write an essay but to critically review two research papers so i'm doing the same thing for both modules and basically these are the two um, papers i'm going to be reviewing they are very different um, papers one's biomedical one's clinical so i've been struggling a little bit with the clinical so this is the paper i'm going to be reviewing for my biomedical research techniques for drug development class i'm just going to call it brtdd because the name is way too long and it's biomedical research it's it's kind of similar to um, um, the research that I did for my for my dissertation it's biomedical research has to do with lab laboratory techniques and it's stuff that I'm used to and the, the methods the materials and methods section are uh, with um, uh, techniques research techniques that I've uh, some of them I've done and I'm, I kind of understand them this is the clinical research paper which I'm doing for my clinical neuroscience module and it's based on clinical research so I have to familiarize myself with um, quite a few things like ethical considerations and their, their methods are quite different um, to the biomedical research paper so I had to um, look up I had to find a resource that helps me to critically analyze a now, the very first thing that I do when I um, re um, review these papers is I print out the papers so as you can see see here and then I read through the papers starting with the abstract and then I go through the read the results and then I come I read the discussion and then I come back to the materials and methods section and while I'm reading the abstract I basically just write down all the questions that I have and like loads of things that I do not understand and as I'm going through the paper I see if and these questions get answered because I'm looking for like um, the weaknesses and the strengths of the paper so that's the first thing um, that I do so as you can see I use loads of like highlighters and just writing and just you know just marking and dissecting the paper to make sure that I understand everything or if I agree with anything that the authors um, have um, talked about I look at all the graphs and all the results and try to make my own conclusions from them before I read their conclusions so, now yeah. the next thing I do is to do some research now to help me with my research I always go back to the title and I basically highlights like the key words in the title so that's the biomedical research paper this is the um, clinical research paper so you see like words like comorbidity quality of life childhood cancer survivors proton beam therapy I would highlight these things and then I would do research read literature online to try and familiarize myself with what these terms actually mean and then when I make all of those notes I actually make a plan as you can see right there there is a plan that I have have um, made so that's what that's the next step that's the next thing now I this is an example of notes that I've made so I just literally just made these notes from reading um, papers online I go to PubMed and I read like literature online about these topics and um, and yeah I just so when I read the paper I make notes on about the abstract what their aims and objectives were their sample size um, what the authors concluded from it their methodology and and all of that stuff these are my notes from reading the other paper and I'm just reading like um, other research um, and their results and what they found and I make sure that I keep and put a note of where I've gotten the information from for referencing purposes and this basically helps me to get all the necessary information that I need and then I can use these notes to start writing my essay so um, the reading takes um, the most of my time I guess because I need to find the necessary information but once now, I have the next thing I do in this process is to actually write the essay so this one was is only 1500 to 2000 words and the the other one is um, 1000 words which makes it even more difficult because when you don't have too many words is very easy to go over I found with me anyway but what I do is I try 
to I write down all the information like what I've written down and then I can come back and rearrange my sentences rearrange my paragraphs and and I leave my referencing to the last minute or well, not to last minute I leave my references to the end as you can see there's a lot of information I've written and I need to like cite them in my text um, I'm going to write down the source um, where I get that information from later and I build up my bibliography as I go along so as you can see at the end I've got references there where I, I write down my references as I go along as it just really helps me that I have a bibliography by the time I finish so yeah. so today is Tuesday and these two essays are due in on Thursday what is doing at 11 a.m. the other one's doing at 12 I know crazy so <laughs> I've been trying to get these done so that they would be ready to be submitted by 11 o'clock and 12 um, noon on Thursday um, as you can see I've already written um, I've already written it out like I've written all the essays I just need to what I'm gonna spend today and tomorrow doing is basically tying up loose ends and actually sorting out my references um, we don't have like a maximum limit for references which is really good because I've, I've used um referencing a lot which i always try to do so i don't plagiarize um but yeah that's what i need to sort out and i'm gonna take you guys on the journey until i submit it Hello guys, it is Wednesday afternoon. These these essays are due in tomorrow at 11 and at 12. It's 3.30 p.m. I'm in my lab office. There's the university right there. As you can see, I am currently, so uh, this is the current situation. I have sorted out the references for one of the papers, but then I realized that I am 300 words over the maximum word count, which is 1,000 words. So I need to sort that out. And for the other paper, I'm still trying to sort out the references. But yeah, I will update you guys when I have sorted this out. Current situation, guys. <clears throat> I just got back home from uni because my head was aching so much. And I got kicked out of the lab because um, the research technician had to go home. And she was the only one in the lab today. So I had to go. My supervisor is in San Diego for a conference so um the lab area was really quiet today so i got kicked out but anyway i've come home i need to have my dinner it's currently 6 p.m i have my dinner i'll rest a little bit and then i'm gonna try and finalize like everything i need to do for these two essays so i need to cut down references in one because i have way too many references and i need to cut down words in the other one because i'm like 300 words over so that's the plan for the evening. Matt Toppings across from the Delphi. And I have you to thank. Well, someday when you're sitting in Kerry Clark's chair, just remember the shot that got you there. <laughs> So I ended up sleeping at uh, about 7.30, 7.45-ish and the time now is 9.23. I'm just having some mango and just in case you're wondering why there's a knife here, it's just because I just need to cut it. Um, and I'm going to try and tackle this, these essays once and for all and hopefully I can finish um, finalizing them tonight so I can upload them and turn it in and then tomorrow morning all I'd have to do is to hand in the hard copy so I hope all goes well so guys it is 12 30 a.m. and I am done I I am done so done with these essays so the first one that I was trying to cut down words I tried and managed to make them the word so I managed to make it fit like two sides of the A4 paper which is okay I think I'm still about a hundred words over but I think the module leader said that if it's on two sides of A4 paper then it should be fine and the other one um, I did cut down a few references um, I cut it down from like almost 20 to like 15 or so and I've also um, uploaded it on Turnitin which is the which is to check for plagiarism and I just did that now so it's all done yay I can finally sleep <laughs> thank you so much for yeah thank you so much for bearing with me I hope that this video was useful somehow um, 
yeah if you have any more questions about writing essays and referencing how to look up like um, uh, papers like read literature and any other questions regarding the essay writing at university just leave them down below I think I've written quite a few with my dissertation that um, I could give you a bit of advice based on my experience so I'm pretty much done now I just need to print out um, the just need to print one out tomorrow and I'm going to hand it in before 11 a.m. or before 12 noon at um, the university and that will be it but thank you so much for watching i hope this was useful have a lovely day and god bless bye